Good night, sir. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Just a little stressed and tired. I want to sleep. Uh, <laughs> if I tell you what I'm doing now, you tell me the timeline. So <laughs> press pause. I'm right where you are, Papa. I cook, I cook, no. No, I'm in my bed later. I me don't cook, I just don't cook early and I eat in a class. <laughs> well, fortunate you. Fortunate you. You're understanding the, the, um, the McLaren's expansion? I'm, I'm getting there. I understand it. There's some mm -hmm. um, calculations that might just come up that uh, kind of throw me off a little bit. But once I review back uh, calculus one, right, mm -hmm. it becomes apparent on what to do. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a question on. I wrote a question. I'm gonna post it so you can have it for me. So you can um you can try that one. I mean, it is. It is um, the same McLaren, but this time now it's the logarithmic function. So last on Tuesday, we looked at the exponential function and um, I'm giving it a logarithmic function because they can't give you anything. They can't give you exponential logarithmic. They can give you any other functions to work with. So just take your time. We still have, we, we're, we're within our grace period of 15 minutes. So just take your time and, and have the food to digest while you work on that one for me. Okay, sir.
Good evening. Good evening, sir. Hey, Shazi Rashford. So there is a question that is posted here as example number seven do now. Find the McLaren series of the function f of x is equal to ln 8x plus 3 up to the term in x to the fifth. Um, try as best as possible, please. What I'm trying to do here is just refresh your memory about the differential of the logarithmic function. What is the differential of ln x? Anybody remembers? One over X. One. Evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yes, indeed. One over X. And good evening to the rest of you. Very nice. All right, so continue working on that for me, please. And thanks. Um, I'm going to give you about another five minutes to complete this question and then we'll go through. You notice I, have, I don't have my solution there because it was just generated a while ago. I've not taken the solution. We'll do the solution together. All right. Sir. Yes, Sasha. Remind me again, please. Are the is this um function two terms? No, it's a one term function. Remember Ellen and the function is in front of Ellen. So it's not the product. If the eight x minus eight x plus three was in front of the Ellen, it would have been two terms. The eight x being one term and then the ln being another term, but when the ln is, ln is in front or to the right of when, when a function is to the right of ln, that becomes part of the function. So it's just a single function you're looking at there. Okay. All right. You ask the question because you're wondering if you're using a product rule. Yes, sir. Right. No. So to only use a product rule if I if I'd given you. Say for example, and thanks for giving me that idea. So since you, if I'd given you the question, say two x ln eight x plus three, then that would be a product. The first mm -hmm. term being two x, and the ln eight x plus three being the the second term. So I give it that as a second one. Thanks, Sash, for that question. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
obviously we'll finish it. Not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. All right, cool. Don't worry. Don't worry.
Lord, help me in this journey. Say it again, Sash. I need the Lord to help me in this journey. <laughs> um, what did you get for your for your first differential? Sir, one over eight x plus three times eight. Yeah, so the final answer is supposed to be 8 over 8x plus 3 down. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right, good. See, we start off right. What is up for the second differential? Yes, no. Go ahead. I was about to say, Sash, come here, Shakira, throat. So go ahead. Sash. Let me just let go say it. Make sure we talk. Negative 64 over 8 x plus three is all squared. Good job. And what do you get for the third differential? It's all like me going I part with Charlene. I go. All right, there's some. All right, there's some stopping us, sir. Mm -mm, it can't stop this. Oh, <clears throat> well, as in, my still at work. Oh, you still a work. All right, one work, man. One work. Um, the race is not for the swiftness, for those who can endure um, and endure to the very end of it. So you won't work. Um, <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, so your screen looks so small. Yeah, because I'm... All right. Let me go here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here trying to do when when if when you find f of zero, what do you get? Ln three. And what is ln three? Uh, for bringing it on more, 1.1. Okay, all right. And then f of zero for the other one was? For what, the first? Yeah, we have, sir. Yeah, Eight so over three. All right, I was doing a question and then I got, I don't know where I'm at. Um, sorry, let me not say I don't know where I'm at. I, that's why I, I don't like doing these questions too. Um, <clears throat> to project because it, it looked like it's a, yeah it just yeah you, you see how this one looks like it's all over oh my lord you right, can get just, my understanding sir because uh, from the beginning you've been doing it like that so it, yeah it um <clears throat> I have to go find a nice way of, of doing it. Um, because here, you no. Know. All right, so for me, I was working the first time, my leg, as a, 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 you were working it, and then I stopped and. <clears throat> you, so you agree with this? So the second differential? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Okay, let me just quickly write on my third differential for you. Um, woo, 64 times eight times two. You get 1024, negative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And all of that is over to the third power. You just said negative or whatever. Sure, it's not negative. Sure, yeah, not negative, positive. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because it is negative sixty-four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're correct, man. You're correct. 
you are correct. Up here says negative, this is positive, yeah. <clears throat> you see, you soon you get good teaching, you just, um, and say, well, no, sir, you need an error. So f of f of zero is going to be Turn it. If 10, 24, over 27? Yes, yes, sir. That's the day right, this is sir. You see, I have if the so w again, triple dash. Yeah, thanks again. Right. Thanks here. Well, even another class, you know. All right, you know. Give me trouble. Be a correction, I guess. We say no, but feel nice, you know. You know why? Sir, you know, may I wonder, you know, sir? Can I look at me and say we? No, man, I feel nice, man. Cause you're a teacher and students, I understand. Whoa, Ryan, away there. Right here was right here. No, come on, but the one, the one, correct between the one. The one said, No, sir, it's triple dash. All right, so yeah, triple one dash. Day, one day. All, right. <laughs> All right, so let me just check on this here. No, I should put this in. Right, but that's nice though. Um, it's good, you know, you guys, I know you guys are learning your teachers. Um, Making ah oh, no teachers making error errors in computational and otherwise than you guys are saying nope sir that's not what you taught us are you fix it sir <laughs> yeah, well no one would know that all right so this is f to the fourth dash let me fix that before I hear say nope sir and it's going to be the denominator oh crap no. Um, hold on. Oh, God, how did I get this? Um, You don't call me, I'm in a class, you know this. <clears throat> Hold on, please. This is going to be that to be this times that. I'm happy that you guys. Hey, TT, you were absent um, on Tuesday. And I didn't get the matrix from you. Three to the six. Um, copy. All right. Um, All right, you look at that and tell me if teacher is what is to the fourth. If teacher is right, ten twenty four times twenty four murder. No, why would I actually do all the way up to that? Tell me that's what you've got here. Negative, sir. Negative, sir. Yes, I put that here to see if you're paying attention. Right. You are correct. This is this is encouraging. Um I liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 24576. Um, and three to the 40, three to the 9, that's 81. Don't?
Oh man. Oof. Okay, can't break it down further. It can go down further. Let me just check two, four, five, seven to six over eight to one. Yes, eight one nine two over twenty seven. Eight one nine two over two seven. Mm -hmm. All righty then. And then I need to do it one more time. So I need to copy here. Yeah, this copy and paste is going to boom, bam, 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 paste the denominator, turn the differentiation of the numerator. Let me share screen so you can, for those of you who are not remembering, can actually see what is happening there on that screen. The denominator, which is this. Time to differentiation, copy, time to differentiation of the numerator base times zero. Minus the numerator. Just minus, minus this, don't. Minus the numerator, which is that time to differentiation of the denominator. Let me just paste it right here. So put that there. So from so from so all this four. Go so go so call this three. I'm go so call that eight. I'm go so call the nine. The multiplication same right here. So and two times we'll call that eight. Go so go so go so. <clears throat> yeah, cute. Um, there's that. Yeah, no, it's whenever you share your screen and you do a new share and you close the new share, that's what happens and. I should know and I never did it. Uh, bam, 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 bam. I cut that and I do that and I come so, paste it. Whoa. 24, 5, 76. 2, 4, 5, 76 times. 8 times 4. Wow. No. That's too much. That's 78. That's 78, 64, 32. And that will be to the fifth power. If I have three up here, that's going to be found to the fifth power. Uh, copy. Is, that's what I got. Um, seven, eight, six, four, three to the fifth power. I mean, over all of that to the fifth power. So, oh, okay. And that's supposed to be five. You see, sometimes when you see my document, you see, the, four, the fifth differential about four because I am not even doing that. So this is correct, right? <clears throat> so, yes. Nice case. Oh, see, when I don't even tell me, sorry, you're supposed to have an F to the zero right there. No, but oh, no, no, oh, no, no, work with me. Ryan, here was your opportunity, you know. You say, sir, F to the zero right there, say no. Right. Soon, boss, soon. <laughs> All right, that divided by three to the fifth, three raised to the fifth power. And that's gonna be, well, 262144. I don't like this question. You want to stretch your term? Yeah, <laughs> no, but you see, the, the, the thing about it is um, 262144. The thing about it is, I have to give you, I don't know what the exam is gonna look like. And I have to give you, um, variations of the questions. So I cannot give you any, any stuff and say again, no, look at what is happening now. It, oh Lord. Um, oh, sorry, like how much this would mark out of? This, this question is about a, a good, a good 10 mark, you know. 10, sir, 10. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you want more than 10? Yeah. No, so you're too crazy. 10 is good. All right, it's not again, you know. I don't like how this thing looks. It looks, if I were a student, I would say to you, sir, I'm not following. So I'm going to just do that, that. F of two, F of two come here. So I finish F of three. And then now I call this T H I R D U B I F F E R E N T I N L. Third, woo! E R E N T I A L. So third differential. Um, 
I still love doing these questions when I was going to school. I feel bright. You know, you had a one question that takes out two pages. No, man, when you do them, no question that takes no page, man, you're bright. Four, five, this is the fifth differential. Um, bam, bam, to the air, to the air. And then now you know that you're the fifth differential. So third, you are the second differential right here. This is C-O-N-D, D-I-F-F-E-R-E-N-T, I-A-L, D-I-F-F-E-R-E-N-T, and then we have the first if I are this T D R F F E R E N T I E R. I N I T I A L. <clears throat> Initial my first differential, uh, my second differential, I took out that second differential, my third differential, my fourth differential. And then of course, you no need to turn on the glorious again, the differential. And then, um, all righty, wow. Okay, so you guys are, you guys are all with me in terms of how it is that I would have ended up with, ended up with my differentials, all right? And, and, and will also agree with me that you know how to get the f of zeros for all of those. True, false, indifferent? Yes, sir. All right. Now, so this is just one part of the, of the, of the, of the, of the calculation. One part of the calculation where you are going to be required Find the current series of the function f of x equals to all of this up to determine x to the fifth. It means that you have to do the up to the fifth differential. So this here gives you how far up I should go. <clears throat> now I must well, this is the initial one where I use a function, substitute zero into the function to get my answer here. So everybody supposed to can get this one mark. Then I'm finding my first differential, differentiating the function, differentiating the function, differential of ln x is one over x. That's the only time I'm going to have ln in my function. And then, matter of fact, let me just do something here so that you can. I heard somebody say it, so let me just do it. Um, ln 3 and it's equals to 1.0999. Sir, we did us right 1.1. 1 .1, am I right? Yeah, man. I'm, mean, you know, we just, as I said before, I'm not constructing the question yet to tell you exactly what it is that I expect you to do and how the question will be worded and the whole stuff, you know. My aim for this exercise is to get you to, to do the question, um, to understand what is to be done. And there's a particular reason I didn't do the question um, beforehand, you know, because I want you to see when I was working, I want to go through the question with you, as opposed to just having the question and then presenting the answers, as I normally do. There are times it's, it's very useful because I mean, I, I, I save on time doing something like that. But in this other case, no, I really want you to see exactly what is happening. So having calculated my second differential, my first differential, you know what I can do now? No, I can actually not skip out any other lines if I'm gonna be like this. Um, <clears throat> so my first differential is gonna be just simply differential of ln x is one over x, one over x times x, and it's gonna give me eight over um, eight x plus three, f of zero of that is going to be in eight thirds, second differential, so forth and so on. Get my answer right here. My third differential, all my answers in blue are what it is that I'm going to be substituting into my, my formula. Of course, you know, your teacher is very good at this, right? Copying and pasting. This is my formula. Um, working smart and not hard here. I'm not lazy. So this is my formula that I'm going to be using. Right, and in this particular case, let me just do a little amend right here. F of three, copy plus paste. This is really not from F of four, F of four. 
Um, I don't want anybody to be left behind. So at least when I'm doing this stuff, you can see why I'm doing what I'm doing ever for x to the fourth. Then copy plus is um, plus. x to the fifth. All right. So in this case here, <clears throat> oh, finally, he decided to come on. Oh my Lord. All right. So what is happening here is I'm, I'm going up to the fifth. So I have my, my, my expansion here, f of zero, f of one, f of two, f of three, f of four, f of five, right? Plus dot, dot, dot. I'm going to stop here. I am doing this again. I know I've done it before, but I'm doing this to help somebody who may not um, have seen this or would have seen it, but. Is not understanding or, you know, need a little bit more prodding. If you notice this over here says zero factorial over one factorial over two factorial, three factorial, four factorial, five factorial, but I don't have to put zero factorial because zero factorial is one, so is one factorial. Zero factorial is equal to one factorial, all right? All I'm gonna be required to know, all of these good thingy bobs that are in blue, I'm gonna substitute. This is 1.099. <clears throat> One point zero nine nine, and that's how I'm going to get my series. That's all I'm doing, guys. The majority of the work was already done. All I'm going to be doing now is a substituting into my McLaren's expansion. Write it down to its lowest term, and get the stuff. Then, so never know if I get decimal, I can get them big numbers here. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? They may not give you a question like this. You know? I just wrote a question out of the top of my out of the top of my head because I want you to, to understand what is happening. Um, Sasha gave me an idea, and we're gonna work a question like what Sasha gave. And we just want to play around with it. Incidentally, I have three things planned for tonight, and I must get through those three things. One is to do some more McLaren's. I must go through some asymptotic graphs with you, and I must go into some small changes with you. Um, even two questions on each, those other areas are pretty easy. The asymptotic graphs are easy. You know how to do those already. I guarantee you, me teach you calculus one, me know you know how to do this. That's not going to take me more than 10 minutes to do. I promise you. And the small changes, um, it's again on differentiation because we're looking at applications so of differentiation. It's on differentiation. It's really not difficult. You plug it into a little formula and you should be fine, right? This of the three is one of the big boys. So that's why I'm spending a little more time on it. But I'm sorry, today, tonight, I have three objectives that I must cover. What time is it? Eight o'clock. I must cover. By 8.30, I'm going to end here. Um, you don't have to worry. I will come back to class at the start of class again. I give you one question on um, Newton Ramson. I give you one question on McLaren's and give you one question on whatever it is to keep your mind going. But I must go through those three areas um, that I have planned for tonight. Um, one of the areas would have been what I had planned for you on Tuesday. But time was against me, so I didn't type those questions. So between Tuesday and now, I went ahead and typed the questions. So I have oh crap, I needed to do the graphs. Oh man. All right, anyhow, you guys have this most when you can do the graph. All right, um, so I have done that one. Let us do now our first differential is eight thirds. All I'm doing is going here and I'm gonna substitute my, my eight over three. Then sir, you will put one as decimal. And we ever put this as eight over three? Yeah, we can figure out how we're going to do this stuff the other time. Right about now, I just want to put in my information as it is here, then I can fix it up into another line. So let me put my information here. So me, I tell the teacher something no me I do. So even if this line here is incorrect, I can only penalize it for this line, but I'll have to give you the mark right here. 
because I know that you know what it is that you're doing. All right, it's very important. I don't want anybody to be missing any of my steps. These questions are long and they carry a whole lot of marks. And as a result of that, I don't want anybody to, um, to go and make any curious mistakes with them. All right, F double dash of zero, F double dash of zero is negative 64 over, over nine. Negative 64 over nine. But sir, how this pattern work? But no, sir, you have one plus, one plus, one plus, and then one minus. Oh no, sorry. Oopsie daisy. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm seeing here a plus, then a plus, and then a minus. Sir, I thought you said that it's going to be a plus and a minus and a plus and a minus. I didn't say that. We can have everything in plus, 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 as we saw in the one that we did with the e to the x. Plus, 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 plus. plus. Um, or you can have them alternate. Okay, sir, thanks for the clarification. Please, I don't want anybody to go things says, it's gonna be plus minus and any guessing the stuff and putting the things in it. Don't want you to do that. So that was our F of two. And you notice I put nine times two factorial, we're not ready to evaluate it yet. I'm putting my answers in there raw. My F of three is going to be 10, 24 over 27. Ten twenty four. See there, ten twenty four over twenty seven, and of course it's being multiplied by three factorial, and then this is going to be negative eight one nine two. Eight one nine two over twenty seven. Don't. Over negative. Thank you. Answer negative eight one nine two over. Right. Right. So it's what we have now. Um, I have plus plus minus plus minus plus two six. Oh, can't even call that. Two sixty two one forty four. Over eighty one. Um, exit of All right. Everybody agree with that so far? I'm confused how yes. you put it in this um, case here with the 27 times the three factorial um, okay. instead of the fraction over the three factorial. Same difference. Okay. Same difference. I guess because it's, it's a denominator, why you just multiply the denominator by the factorial? I bought them already denominators and so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks for the question, Sash. Uh, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to do, come on. You know, this thing sometimes I want to work with me, you know. And 
<clears throat> Let me just highlight this term so that we can uh, so that you can see it. Let me highlight, 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 highlight. I want a pretty color. All right. Let me highlight this term. Press pause and come back to you. Yes, Rashim, you are correct. No, Sash, remember the two factorial is in the denominator. Talk truth. Yes, sir. Teacher, it is still in the denominator. So I can pull out, I can pull out from my formulation here. Where is that? I can pull up. So this here is in the denominator. All right, let me just do this and come back here. So because I want you guys to develop mathematically. So the two factorial is in the denominator. Control C. The two factorial is in the denominator. I really am not changing the position of my two factorial. See here, it is still in the denominator. My three factorial is still in the denominator. I am not changing it, it's still in the denominator. So forth and so on. But this f of f double dash of zero is 64 over nine, negative 64 over nine. Second differential, negative 64 over nine. So it's negative 64 over nine. So instead of writing negative 64 over nine divided by two factorial, I can say negative 64 over nine times one over two. Because dividing this by two is the same thing as multiplying by one over two factorial. Can you agree with that? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yep. Yeah, right. So that's why I wrote it like this in the first place. So I'll leave it like that just to show you. All right. And two factorial is two. So that now becomes two nines are 18. Three factorial is six. So 27 times six is going to be enough. I think like one. one 162. Four factorial is 24. So 27 times 24 is um, 648. And um, five factorial is 120. Multiply by 81. And I'm getting 927. Mm -hmm. I'm getting 9720. 9720. Let me just put that there. Um, look and tell me if you agree or disagree. I'm sir, just trying an easy way. Of it. Yes, honey. Sir, the minus with the three dots, please. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so this one will be a minus sign right here. Yeah, and so with this one. All right. All right. And then, uh, and then now, uh, so what I've done, I'm doing it in stages and I'm going to leave this like as it is a, as I have it here because I want you to see it. So I'm just working on my denominator first. Then what I'm going to be doing now is, um, you know, trying to evaluate what is 64. Can I break down 64 over 18 into anything simpler? Um, like, 32 over 9. Um, and my 1024 into 600 mm -mm, into 162 can go as 512 over 81. 512 over, and I'm going to need the answer like this 512 over 81. And then my 81192 over 648 is going to be 1024 over 81, 1024 over bam, 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 81. And my 262, 144 over 9720. Oh, can't go down any further like so, so I'm going to leave that as that. So that will be my expansion in the stock. Now, what is the question answer to leave it to? Two decimal places. Um, you know, leave your answer um, in two decimal places. Then it can go um, 1.10. Then evaluate what eight over three is the two decimal places. Then evaluate 32 over nine to two decimal places, so forth and so on. Remember, as I said before, my question is just to find the McLaren series of the function. I'm not giving you no, no gravy. 
no salad, no juice with it. We just cook the raw food. My aim here is to get you to recognize that they can ask you to do McLaren's with a logarithmic function. The nicer part will come thereafter. Matter of fact, I can extend this question, right? But my aim just now is for you to get the McLaren's um, up and out. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So let's go. I'm going to give you another question. Are there any questions for me thus far? And I want you, since I don't have any answer here, um, I want you to, I just want you to be purposeful in I'm giving an easier one. Let me not go all the way up to that and say go up to the fourth. And the reason, the reason you may say, so when I go up to the third, no, I want to see you be able to do multiple differentiation. I don't know. The man, they may not carry all the way to X to the fifth, you know, but a better win, so you carry all the way up to X to the fifth. So you get the, you get the practice of doing that. I make the man them stop at X to the third or X to the fourth. All right? So um, this one here now says find the McLaren series for the function f of x is equal to 2x ln 5x. What is that one now? Shut up, sir. Uh-huh. 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 I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Uh-uh. I'm going to give you about seven minutes. And after we end of the question, it, I want to work the question through with you. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to the, 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 um, okay. Um, all right, so I acknowledge the messages, direct and other messages in the chat. All right, guys, um, I want you to, I want you to try this one for me. Remember the product who says the first times the differentiation of the second, plus the second times the differentiation of the first. The product rule says the first times the differentiation of the second plus the second times the differentiation of the first. Remember, when you differentiate a ln function, you get one over x. One over the function, that is. When you differentiate ln x, you get one over x. If you differentiate in ln whatever, you get one over the differential of the function. One over the function times the differential of it. So, seven minutes. Sir, run back that again. <laughs> the first back that. times the differentiation of the second first plus the second, the second times second. the differentiation of the first. Uh -huh. So you have a product. You're differentiating a product. In, in the differentiation, we give you two things to multiply, to, to differentiate. And then um, where is about ln again or ln x? The differential, uh, the differential of ln x is always one over x, one over the function. Let me put it like that. Uh, so times the differential the of the function. So it's one over the function times the differential yes. of the function. Yeah, that's a function. And then differential the of ln alone is what again? No, man. You know, we have ln alone. We have ln with a function. So the differential of ln x is going oh. to be one over x. Okay. But in general, the differential of an ln function is going to be one over the function times the differentiation of the function. Okay, okay. All right, thanks. Mm hmm <clears throat> yes, I am.
stern frontiers. So nobody not going to say anything to me yet? Sir, the question here oh, is undefined, sir. So how long are you going to take to tell me? Sir, that's why I'm telling you I'm confused because I don't know what I'm going. But nobody, nobody never said anything to me. Sir, I mean, if if nobody nobody never said anything. That's why I'm here saying to myself, I don't understand why nobody's saying anything. No, tell me why that question is undefined again. Oh, we want. Because and here in yeah, because, because uh, the ln of zero is undefined, it gives an error on the right. But it took you about 10 minutes to tell me that. All right, tell me that give other, them, other people them a chance because I didn't go further than um f of zero. The first one. Right, very good. It can't go anything beyond F of zero. Because I realize so, yeah. that it's going to keep re reoccurring because you're doing a absolutely. multiple. Absolutely, absolutely. So it makes a difference now when I do something like that. So go now for me, please. That was done to see how well you guys are remembering what it is that we're doing. So please. All right, go, go now for me. It's 8.36. I'm giving you 10 minutes by quarter to nine. I'm going to stop you. Start for me, please. <clears throat> or continue.
finish. 849 finish. No, oh, sir. All right, continue, continue. <clears throat> Can I check the chat, please? We'll do just that. <laughs> uh, boy, why? All right. Okay, guys, let us. For you, though, sir. For you. All right, never mind. Um, we're still finished. This is, we're still finished. I guess. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's go. <clears throat> All right, story. Um this two shall pass. After this course, no more math. No more math. This is the final math course. Wow. Right, let me just copy that, copy this, paste it right here. And my f of zero, I'm gonna paste right here. My f of zero is, what is my f of zero equals to? Zero, sir. Very good, f of zero is equal to zero. Very nice, f of zero equals zero. All right, let's go to the first differential. It's a product. <clears throat> so it's going to be the, 
it's going to be the first piece. It's going to be the first times the differentiation of the second. Differentiation of the second is going to be one over five x plus one. Time plus the second. Plus the second, the second is um, and then of x plus one times the differentiation of the first times equation equals is two. So times two. Um, let copy from. <clears throat> So it's going to be it's going to be the first times the differentiation of the second plus the second times the differentiation of the first. All of that is going to be two x over x plus one times two and then two x plus one. All right, and copy. Is f of f dash of zero anywhere in f of x I see except for zero? All of that goes to zero. So, ooh, what is ln one? Zero, sir. Right, zero. So I'm getting zero for the first one, and I'm getting zero for the second one. Also, very good. Sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yes. <laughs> That second differentiation finish? No, it's the first differentiation I did. Sorry, the first that first differentiation finish? This one up here, so? I carry it down right here, saying I carry it down to here. Yeah, yeah, me know, so I don't tell you, me ask if it finish. Yeah. You sure, sir? I think so. You sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure, sir? Mm -hmm. The first times the differentiation of the second plus the second times the differentiation sir, of the first. Sir, but your second, I don't differentiate. Yes, is, sir. Is sir, where's your five? Sir, your second, I don't differentiate. Five, yes, sir. Oh, to Rockstone, yes, to Rockstone. What is wrong? Assassin, hold on. Are you, you're tired tonight, sir. No, very well, very much so. Early, first, you need that early thing that times you know. the differentiation of the second times my five. And you see, any, any diplomatic, you see? Jesus, she diplomatic, but anyway, it won't change your answer still, though. Five times. So, but no, yes, matter, sir, but I'm going to take off marks if I'm not have it. Dark truth. Dark truth. Um, so, yeah. And this is not supposed to be 10x. Talk truth, young, young. All right, good. <clears throat> then no differentiating this. All right. Um, I know I can understand now why I say what you said. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm such. So it's gonna be the first time. Well, in this question here, no, you recognize that you're gonna have a chain, but in this chain, you have a quotient and a product. Can you agree with that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So let us differentiate this first part here. Copy is the denominator. Copy the denominator times the differentiation of the numerator. Differentiation of the numerator is going to be 10. Minus the numerator minus 10 times the differentiation of the denominator, which is five. All over the denominator squares, which is that. And then differentiating that the first times the derivative of the second. Uh, <coughs> the first times the derivative of the second.
first times the derivative of the second. Um, Okay, now see, so for differentiation, I can't run for them now. What I talk about first, then derivative to the second plus the second plus plus the second again, and then five x plus one, then derivative to the first. Um, I forgot what I did here. So I differentiated first. Um, look at my second differential. <clears throat> it's a denominator, bam. Times the differentiation of the numerator, differentiating the numerator, I'm going to get 10. Minus the numerator is going to be 10x. Times the differentiation of the denominator is going to be 5 over the denominator squares. Look at how I did this one. The first, which is this, times the differentiation of the second, which is going to be 1 over 5x plus 1 times 5. Plus the second, which is this, times the differentiation of the first, which is just 0. So I just put 0 right there. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look. Um, um, make sure you know, because I mean, oh, this is supposed to be the second derivative. Um, fuck this. Oh, no, come on, don't make this to me. Fuck this. Yes. And then, no, five times two is 10. This is going to be 10 times 5 is 10 times 5 is 50. Don't 50x. 10 times 5 is 50x minus 10. 50x minus 10. Um, let me just check it on. This is 50x plus 10. Sorry. I don't know what is wrong with me tonight. So that's 50x plus 10. Minus 58, so it's going to have 10 over that. So copy. So that is going to give me. <clears throat> it's just going to give me 10 um, plus all of that. Um, how do I add these two? The LCM is. Let me copy down. Oh, sorry, so you couldn't have cancelled off that 5x plus 1? 5x plus 1 where? This one here? Um, no, the, the before you turn it into 50x plus 10 minus 50x up top. Up here? Up here? Right here, this one? No, I'm unable to do that because um, this is being no, multiplied by five. Yeah, I can't. I can't do. You can. I mean, cancel aside a multiplication sign. If this were just ten x times five x plus one, I could have cancelled it. But I have a ten x minus five right here, so I'm unable to do it like that. I'm unable to. So I'll have to distribute and then work out. So I'm going to get 10 times 50 plus that. 10 times that is 50. Those 50 cancel. So I'm going to have 10 over that. Then now I'm going to find the LCM, which is going to be 5x plus 1 all squares. Sir, please make get a more um, example of what I said. You don't want to work? No, you got the idea from me. So I say, please don't take oh, it. Oh, no, 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 no. I, is it, no, the point is, no, the point is, I don't know what CCCJ is going to send on a bunch is, but the point is, um, in, doing, in giving you the question is that you can get something that is, uh, that is a product. I don't think they will give you a question like this, but we are going to finish this question, but I don't think they will give you a question like this. On the exam condition, no. But I only did this question because I want to show you that you can get that product. But none of you should be screaming about this enough you know, because I know you guys know how to differentiate. Me not answer. Me I tell you something. No, 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 to differentiate. I know you know the function don't look good, but yes, I know you know how to differentiate. Where was I? Um, what's the LCM? It's going to be five x 
Um, so it's going to be five x squared. I think that is going to be five x um, plus plus ten times five x plus one. Oh crap! Oh crap! Sorry. Plus ten times five x plus one. Look at that. So what I'm doing here now is I do this, I'm gonna get um let me get question like this I think get 20 marker. So I'm adding these two together. The LCM is gonna be five x plus one all squares, five x plus one all squares into five x plus one all squares goes one time, one times 10 is this 10. Five x plus one into five x plus one squares goes five x plus one times times 10 is 10 times five x plus one. And then that now into this is gonna give me 50x plus 10, 50x plus 10, and then I'm gonna end up with um, I'm gonna end up with 50x plus 20. And that's just gonna be my f double dash and f double dash of zero is going to be just equal to 20. So let's just walk through this again. So it's the, it's a denominator here, bam, times the differentiation of the numerator. When I differentiate the numerator, I'm gonna get 10 minus the numerator, which is gonna be minus 10x times the differentiation of the denominator, which is five all over the denominator squares, five x plus one all squares. When I differentiate this one, this is a chain rule. I'm using a chain rule, all right? But the chain rule contains a quotient and a product. So you O T I E N T and E R O D U C T, I think, right? So are you following what I'm saying right here? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So it's a chain rule which contains um which contain a quotient and a product. So I've just done the quotient. I'm doing a product now. The product is the first times the differentiation of the second. First, times the differentiation of the second, when I differentiate ln x, I'm going to get one over x times the differential of the inside here, which is what I left off at first, plus the second, which is ln that times the differential of that. Um, the spirit is saying to me to put it there so that 5x plus 1. And you guys are doing it, nobody's going to say it to me, sir. How did you just get zero there? So, right? So, times it plus the second times the differentiation of first. Now, all of this piece is going to go to zero. So, I'm just going to be left with time five times two is 10. So, it's 10 over 5x plus one, which is this. And all of this that I distribute 10 times 5x is 50x, and 10 times one is 10. And five times negative 10 is negative 50. This, I don't know where this answer is going on. As I said, I just made up the question, right? And this is going to be negative 50x times, I mean, plus 50x, which cancels out. Let me just do that for you to show you what it, that it cancels out. All right. So those two cancel out. And then I'm just going to be left with 10 here. So now I'm putting everything as a common. Denominator, remember when you're doing the quotient rule, you can't do the quotient rule with um, two different pieces like that. Um, well, yes, you could because you, you, you could differentiate this as, as it is in terms of a chain where you have two quotients, right? But I can put them together to get one, one numerator, one denominator, and then just do the differentiation like that. If you do it as two quotients, um, it's going to be very long or longer.
So I'm planning the LCM, which is going to be 5x plus 1 all squares, the big of the 2. This into this goes 1 times times 10 is 10. This into this goes 5x plus 1 times 10 is 5x plus 1. And if you want to check to see if you are right, um, this positive sign is this positive sign here. Watch me. 10 over 5x plus 1 squares here. 10 over 5x plus 1 squares. And then you can have 10 over 5x plus 1. You can have 10 5x plus 1 over 5x plus 1 squares. But that one cancels in. This one leaves 10 over 5x plus 1, which is exactly what we have here. So you know that this line is correct. And when you say 10 times 5x, you can get 50x, which is this. And 10 times 1 is 10. That 10 plus is 10 gives me 20. So that I have this here now. And f double dash of 0. Mm, that goes to zero, so I have 20. That goes to zero, so I have one squares, and one squares is one. 20 over one is going to be 20. So I have 20. Um, and then, now it is that I'm going to be required okay, to do the differential of this piece here. And you know, I'm differentiating this piece here. It's going to be the by the way, did anybody get up to this point here? Yes, sir. Good. Sir, I got the Good. 20, but my differentiation was wrong. Was off. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right. As I said before, we are here learning, so it's not a problem. But as I said before, I don't they will give you something like this, but who to tell you? Either do, hooray, you, you know what to do. So it's going to be the denominator. So let me just do this one quickly here. The denominator, copy. The denominator is times the differentiation of the numerator. Now the numerator is going to be a chain times the differentiation of the numerator, which is really 50 um, minus the numerator. Times the differentiation of the denominator, which is going to be two times five X plus one. Times five. All over the denominator squares. All right, so let us just double check what we have. The denominator, bam, which is this, times the differentiation of the numerator. When I differentiate the numerator, I'm going to get 50 minus the numerator, which is 50x plus 20, times the differentiation of the denominator, which is the power rule. So it's going to be 2 times 5x plus 1 to the first, times the differentiation of the inside, which is 5, over the denominator squares, which is 5x plus 1 all squares. 5x plus 1 squares, square, which is 5x plus 1 to the fourth. So that now, and check with me in case I'm, oh, this is supposed to be the third differential, f triple dash. Um, Ryan, wake up. So, why not? Why not? Okay, nice. Jeremy, wake up. I have not checked my participants list to see who they are. Um, okay. Kerry, can we not give me the trouble tonight? Sarah, so after we were the five earlier. That's the only trouble I can give tonight. So what? I asked you where the five was in your differentiation earlier. Oh, that's the only trouble you didn't give me. All right, no problem. Yes. I'll tell I need to hear from you. All right, never mind. So when I multiply that by that, I'm going to get 50. Five times two is 10. I'm so happy that you guys did all this um, level of differentiation in... in Calculus one. And does this look familiar from calculus one? Uh, for calculus one, I've never seen us do. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Chain no, man, and too. No, man, I would have given you questions like this in calculus. Matter of fact, I have some your end of unit questions here that I wanted to give. Look, look on the end of unit question here. Yeah, man, you don't get questions like this in a calculus one. See, here, watch it. See, here, um, Sash, x plus two over x plus one all squares. These are, these are some questions that I wanted to give you as just a little 
thing about whatever the situation is. You know? So these questions are, these, where am I? Yeah, these questions are questions that we normally do in class. So times 12 times two is 10, bam, bam, bam. And then now in order to do this, now we normally look and factor out them something here. So we can factor out, we can factor out, we, know, we just look factor out the 5x plus one. We'll factor out the 5x plus one. I think I'm going to start f of three. 5x plus one. So copy that one, paste that, and factor out the 5x plus one. Put that this so, come so. Put that in one square bracket, so. All right, um, no. Go, Krishna, I'm not hearing from you. I'm here, sir, I'm paying attention. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, that question here no, not, no pattern. You know, absolutely. And that's what I was saying to you earlier on, that some of the questions you can't see no pattern in it. And this is one definitely no pattern at all. All right. Um, no, this is supposed to be to the first one now. Because that's when this is working on something I'm going this. So, um, so I factor all the 5x plus 1 right here. So it's going to be 50 times 5x plus 1 year. Minus 10 times 50x, yeah. And then now, copy. Whoa. And then all of this cancel out. I'm just left with for the third power. Five times five is 25. So that is only 250. 250x plus 50 plus, oh crap, guess what? Um, 500x um, plus 200. All right, I need to just double check something right here because I type into the function and I don't remember exactly what was there. So let me just, let me just see this and, and look at it again, forgive me. 50 times 5x is 250x, yes. 50 times one is 50, see? So that's supposed to be 50. 10 times 50 is 500x minus 500x, and it's supposed to be minus 20, minus 200. All right, we got you. And that's minus 200 over, that goes to the third. 250 minus 500 is minus 250. So that's gonna be minus 250 and minus 150. Anybody got that? Minus 250x minus 150. <clears throat> the only pattern I'm picking up, um, Yanni, based on what we did, was 5x plus 1 to the 4, I mean to the first, then 5x plus 1 to the second, then 5x plus 1 to the third. That's the only pattern that I can see. And there's a 50x plus 20. And this is a, no. So I'm seeing all of that there. Are, we, are you with me so far? OK, now. Can I scroll up a little, please? Yeah. Scroll up? Yeah. A little further, please. Oh, um, yeah. I definitely can't in the class with this question. I have to give you something sweet to help you digest. Let's none of you turn up the class on Tuesday. I can move now from here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish up here. So, all right. So this one is going to be pretty easy because the first two. Um, I want up to x to the fourth, this is zero, zero. So this term is 20. And then now we need to evaluate what this is. 
that is going to be negative 150. Anybody got negative 150? Yes, sir. Nice. So that is negative 150. So we have two terms, and then we have a final, final one to look at. Um, the denominator. The denominator times the differentiation of the numerator. When I differentiate the numerator, I'm going to get negative 250. Um, negative 250 the denominator times the differentiation of the numerator minus the numerator minus all of this ugly looking thing times now the differentiation of the denominator, which is going to be three times 5x plus 1 to the second power. Uh oh, that's not where it's supposed to go. To the second power times the differential of the inside here, which is going to be five. All over the denominator squares, three times two is six. All right, so this is what I have. The denominator, this is right here, times the differentiation of the numerator, which is negative 250, which is right here, minus the numerator minus all of this, which is here, times, and you got me make multiplication sign. Times the differentiation of the denominator. Times the differentiation of the denominator, which is three times five x plus one to the third power, mm -hmm. the second power. I'm differentiating. So it's to the second power times five. All over the denominator squared, which is five x plus one cube. And then I just need to fix up this. This fixing up should be easier than. Did I differentiate a while ago? Yes. So I this differential, or this differential was easier than this one because I had two functions. Okay, so the function gets easier to differentiate actually. So copy, paste, no, paste. So this is going to be negative 250 in here. Check out that. Minus 15, three times seven is 15 down. Minus 15. <sighs> and then what is common? 5x plus 1 squares is common. So I'm going to take what the 5x plus 1 squares. Mm -hmm. um, 250, 15 can go into 250. No, so what five can do? So this is going to be five x plus one squares. I'm taking up a couple of the smaller of the two when I'm doing this sort of stuff. And I really hope you guys are following me enough. And then I'm going to take off five, five into 15 plus three times. And five into two is equals negative 50 times. I'm going to put my five words out here. So, All right, so let me show you what I did. I'm between two, negative 250 and 15, I'm taking out the five, which is this five here. If I want, I could have negative five, but I leave it as it is. And then um, I'm taking out the five x plus one all squares. Oh, so that means it's supposed to be just one of it. So I'm going to have 50 that is left because this times this gives me 250 and 5x plus 1 squares times 5x plus 1 gives me 5x plus 1 cube. 5 times negative 3 gives me negative 15 and this negative 250 x minus 150 is here. And this 5x plus 1 squares is what I would have factored out here. So in that line, I'm now able to cancel the 5x plus 1 squares into um, into two of that. And then I'm going to be left with four, four by six, yes. 
So I'm going to liquid that. <clears throat> So there's no 50 per ratio, so I'm just stuck off that. Um, sir, remember it's not triple dash, it's to the four. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you, welcome. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Papa. Thank you. What can I do without you guys? Well, like oh, COVID now keep again, no, we can't go near two food on Port Royal. Sir. I Say it again. That's not where I want to go. Remember your link from last last night? Talk truth. Yeah, talk truth. Yeah, man. I forgot to say we can activate the link, man. So we can see if we can. I hope the link. I hope the link still airy. So we can just go wash off some of them calculus to here to the fourth. To the fourth. Thanks again for telling me that's to the third, to the fourth, to the fourth, to the fourth. All right. So let's just do this quickly now. So this cancels out, leaving that. This cancels off, leaving my four. And then I am going to five times, negative 50 times. All right. Let me do this so that I don't skip a step. Negative 50 times five is negative 250. And that's X. And 50 times negative one is going to be negative 50 minus 50. All right. And then minus three times minus 250 is minus is positive 750. Plus 750 plus 450. No, yeah, 150 times three is 450 plus 450. All right, so let us look, double check that line. Um, see, don't work for today, but listen, after all, you know, the first two was hard to differentiate here. Yeah? Five times 50 is going to be 250, negative 250x minus 50. Um, three times 250, yeah, negative three times negative 200 is positive 750. And it's, Negative three times a negative one. Oh, yeah, you have the x there. Yes. The Thank you, hon. It's 150x times. And then I'm going to do this now to give me negative 250 plus 750 is going to be positive 500 x. And then plus 400. Oh, rock stone. I don't have to do that. Yeah, plus 400. Um, so I'm going to have negative 50 plus 450 is positive 400. And negative 250x plus 750x is going to be positive 500x, which is right here. I don't have to distribute this by into this. Well, we have to be careful. Let me just ask the question first to see if you guys are seeing it. What is f of zero? Mm -hmm. What is f of f to the foot of zero right here? Sir, two thousand over. Yeah, yeah. No, two thousand. Two thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice job. That's why you are careful school students. So it's going to be two thousand, and then that will be it, because it says up to x to the fourth, and um, we are just substituting. Now remember, f of zero is zero. F first differential is also zero. It's only the second differential that we get 20. The second differential is the one with the x squares. All right, copy is The second differential is the one with the x squares and that's 20. Everything else is zero. I can just take it out. And then the third, the fourth differential is, is 2,000. X to the fourth, 
So, sir, if I chose not to um, factor out the five in the fourth differential, would I lose marks for that? No, 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 is just this piece that is in blue that you're really interested in, which is why I'm saying to you, the truth is, chances are, I would have seen your error with your 20, I would have just kissed my teeth. If you see what I'm saying, because you still end up with 20. You follow what I'm saying? No? Yes, you follow? Yeah, man. And then, uh, what was that? Yes, sir. That was negative 150. So this is gonna be, Negative. Um, this is going to be one fifty over three factorial, and then that will be that for that piece. And question works out nicely. Um, it was a little rough in the first part. Um, comes out nicely. Um, two factorial is two, so that means be 10 x squared. And three factorial is six. 150 divided by six is gonna be 25. So that's 25. Um, four factorial is 24. So 2000 divided by 24 is gonna be equal to, wow. Why did you have to come out to unite that one? Um, 250 over three. And that's a kind of answer. Question worked out pretty nicely for me, if you ask me. Pretty nicely. Sure. Sure I mean, the working on Say it again, hon. don't have any. Um, minus. Yeah, man, there's a minus one. We got the minus 150. Didn't oh, we? Uh -oh. Yeah, man, we got the minus 150. All right, so that's what that one looks like. Um, yes, it's it's rough, but you know what I'm happy about is that we're able to go through the whole question. Um, remember, excess is uh, boy, required. That's sir. Sit again, next one. I say about 30 marks for that work out there. <laughs> no, if I, if I give you a question like this, if I put a question like this on the exam paper, it will be a full 20 marks. It's a full question I can give it for. A full 20 mark question. Remember, the question comes for 20 marks now. Right? So, which is the point I'm getting at. Um, Excess is required to submit um, examination papers, I mean, questions, items. I definitely would not submit a question like that. But guess what? You may have another community college that may submit a question like that, and that question is selected. So what I'm happy about is that I was able to, to come up with a question like this, just off the top of my head, come up with a question like this and, um, and give to you, yes, the question is wrong, but guess what? As I said before, and I'm not bluffing, I know you know how to differentiate. Me not ask you. Me know me know how to differentiate. Some of you are, are um, doubting yourselves, but for the most part, I mean, I would say at a 90%, the class can differentiate. At a 90%, the class can differentiate, right? Um, give God thanks for the extended semester because I know I spent most of my time working with you guys on the differentiation because I knew you needed to get your differentiation here. When I come to integration, I'll speak about integration, right? But I know you guys know how to differentiate. So they may give a question like this and I, don't, I wouldn't have any control over it because if I complain, it means about Mr. Shand, did the students with calculus one? Yeah, um, differentiation is on the syllabus. Matter of fact, if you look at your outline, you see that differentiation again appears on it. I decided that I'm not going to go through all of that again, but I will give you questions so we can refresh our memories on differentiation. Every one of you in the class, including Tiana and Rashim who joined us, they did differentiation and integration in their previous calculus course 
courses. All right. So, um, yeah, so the question worked out um, pretty nicely in the, in the final analysis. Um, I just going to say one more thing and then I just top it off, top off the class with something, something else than nice. So, um, something that I know you know how to do um, already. Um, one application, you know, sometimes you go into an organization to work that you have to build it from scratch. There may be a unit in that organization that you are the first manager and our first supervisor, and you have to, to build it from scratch. Now you're gonna go in, you're in the organization. You understand, you understand fully what is happening in the organization. And the man them come and say, here the plan. We want to go do this, I want to go do that. And every time you have to start from scratch, you say, no, me have a formulation. And if you can do your formulation, I can go ahead now. And at any point in time, if I want to evaluate, say, if this is defined by my function, I want to evaluate f of 100. And I have this here. I know that I can just go and evaluate um, my stuff and get what it is that I'm supposed to get because I have my, I put my formulation in place. Whether or not you want to sell the company formulation, that's a different conversation, right? Um, and that is that will become your intellectual property. So you can make the man the most agreed plan. You know that I formally it's something that um, you, you, you go to a board meeting and the man and say, what if we produce X, Y, Z and you just drop it to your formula and get it? And they say, oh, you have a formulation? Yeah. All right, um, let us have it. Um, no. Let us talk some money. And this is how you make your money. Let us talk some money. Because I would have sat down and used my calculus to come and come up with a formulation. Let us talk some money and then you're going to be going to talk about your plan. And you have $500,000 and you just pass it over. And you get them and you take the $500,000 and carry um, some money from your teacher. And then you just take the rest for yourself and then you're good to go. You're good to go, right? All right. I'm going to take a quick, 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 quick break from there and just brush on something. I'm not even going to show you what the graph looks like. I'm not even interested in the graph. Um, not even going to give you that sort of stuff. I don't want to overwhelm you. Let me find another one. Um, yeah, let me look at this example. I'm not going to overwhelm you. This is just an icing on the cake. This is just some sort of red wine to wash down all that beef you just had. Now, they may ask you to sketch the graph of this function. They can ask you to sketch a graph of the function. This is vertical and horizontal asymptotes. All of what is all of what is in right here, so it goes right up, right up, right up like that. I went to you know all of this already. I'm not going to go through that video. You know all of that already. All of this right up, right up here. You already know that. All right. Let me just jump to the example and prove to you that you know it. So they may ask you to, as I said before. Um, let's get you things. Sketch the graph of f of x equals to that. My aim, my aim is not to, to word what the question is, it's just to understand what is happening. So with, what is new to you is vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. Those terminologies may be new to you, vertical and horizontal asymptote. What is not new to you is when it is that you're finding um, the point of discontinuity, you're finding the point of discontinuity when normally set the denominator equals to zero, talk truth. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Anybody, anybody, anybody else remember other than those three persons who say yes? Hello? Can, can drop us can kind of oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm saying when you're finding the point of discontinuity, what do you do with next one? You remember you put the denominator equals to zero and solve, work out for x, 
Oh, yes, sir. Right. Um, no, man, when you find the point of discontinuity, you're, you're just going to set the denominator equals to zero and work out the value of x. So this rational function, there is or are points that it cannot take. Why? Because you can't have a zero existing in the denominator. You remember that story from calculus one? Yes, sir. Right. Um, Tiana, remember that from this calc? Yes, sir. Nice. Um, Rashi, remember that from calculus one, two years about? No. Approach. So. You get a message, when, by the way, sir. Oh, sorry. Um, I see a message in here, so. No, okay, not in the chat. What's no. up? Oh, no, I'm not checking it. My phone is charged. Cool, cool. All right. This will, this will, I'll, I'll respond to you. Okay, thanks, thanks, Jermaine, um, for responding. Um, yeah, man. So when, for the point of discontinuity, you're going to set the denominator equals to zero. Anyway, I'm just running through this. I'm not really teaching it. I'm just running through just to put some ice on the cake. So I'll come back to this. So don't have to worry. So if you're not seeing it, it's not a problem. So I'm setting the denominator equals to zero, and I'm solving for the value or values of x. So in this case, I'm going to have two x plus one all square equals zero. I'm taking the square root of both sides because I'm undressing. So because I'm undressing, I have to strip, but I can't just go inside this and strip. I have to take off this square first because this is protecting what is inside here. So I have to take the square root of both sides. When I do that, see there's the square root of both sides, of course, square root of zero is zero. I'm going to take the square root of two x plus one all squares. I only get two x plus one. So technically, I have removed this two here. Now I can subtract one from both sides. So I'm going to have two x is equal to negative one. See it right here, so. And then if two x is equal to negative one, I divide both sides by two. So x is going to be equal to negative a half. So this here is what is going to be called my vertical asymptote. Then, sir, and the same thing we do for the point of discontinuity, yeah, at the exact something, but it have one different name now when it reach calculus two, right? One different name. You know, there's something that I can't eat. And oh God, when I was much younger, um, one of my chores, and you know, it's not that I grew up because I recognize, you know, the older boys would have gotten, um, and these are cousins, would have gotten responsibility to, to cook the dog food. But of course, every night is me cooking the dog food. And we, we had a cashew tree and we used to trade cashew seeds. So they said, all right, if you cook the dog food, we give you five cashew seeds. And trust me, everybody wants to cook the dog food at night because at night when we cook the dog food, we'll roast the cashew seeds, right? And, and trust me, a lot of us used to just hoard a lot of cashew seeds. We'll count and we never have money them time for going back. So we just trade things in cashew seeds. You can go a shop for me, them send me a shop, but you can go a shop. You have to pay me how much cash you see they want. 10. So this is how we barter, all right? And um, so we used to cook cornmeal with the dog food and then any vegetable, anything at all, we just put in other something from leftover meal for the day. So when I grew up when them start cook, turn cornmeal, good, good turn cornmeal you now for people to eat, me can't eat it to this very day. I get offended if I go to a restaurant and I say, oh, sir, do you want polenta? We are talking about a ton of me that I don't want it. They say, no, man, it's nice, man. We use coconut milk in there and so forth. I don't care. It's nice, bad, sir. Eh? It's nice, bad. You're nasty. Jeez, um, I can't eat it. Not, no, seriously. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't eat it. I not lie you. Um, sir, but I am you, sir. sir. And them something there. You. Me see my mother cook it one time and say, oh, she feel for turn coming. Me say, okay, good. Turn coming and something else. I know that there's something else me eat. Me nah eat it. Me nah eat it because when I do eat, it, it just reminds me of when I was cooking dog food when I was much younger. Me can't eat it. And the same big spoon, them use that. No, dog food. But anyhow, the point I'm making is, um, in other, in other part of, well, when I was growing up, we call it ton kami, dark food. But <laughs> the man on the hill called it polento, right? And it's, it is served.
with, with good, good meat, you know, swims and lobster and fish and calamari and them something they were making by on a regular basis and hog steel, we can't buy them things up on a regular basis, you know, because it is eaten into the, um, the rich people palate. What's the point? Here is something called point of discontinuity. We don't even want to talk about a big, big something about that. No, we're talking about vertical asymptote, right? We're doing the same concept, the same concept we did in calculus one, business calculus, to find that point of discontinuity is the same concept we're doing here to find a vertical asymptote, all right? Look at what we're ha is happening here now. Um, look at the function here, so. The function is this, right? To find a horizontal asymptote, to find a horizontal asymptote, I am going to not let x plus one be equal to zero. I need to change that. But I'm going to know, find the limit of this function. G's on P, so are you serious? Yeah, man. So let me just do this. I'm going to copy here. And I'm going to paste it right here. So for the horizontal asymptote, look at what is, I'm doing. I'm having the function, the original question that was given, see, Rockstone, is cut a cut it, you know? Undo, 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 undo. Oh, copy. And yes, you have to be careful what it is that I do. Sometimes the fingers move faster than the brain. All right. So remember when we did this piece here, x plus one, I'm going to expand my, my, my 2x plus 1 all squares. Remember, 2x plus 1 all squares is the same thing as 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. So when I expand 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1, trust me, you can get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So I'm expanding the denominator here to remove the square. And remember, when you're finding the limit of a function as x tends to infinity, we're going to look for the highest power into the function and divide through it by it, talk through it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, man. So what we're going to know is this x square x over x squared, this negative one over x squared, four x squared over x squared, four x over x squared, one over x squared. This is from calculus one from business calculus. That is same something we are doing. All right. And then now we're going to say this cancel in one of that leave just one over x. Hold on. Leave one over x. Um, this can't go no further, so I'm gonna write it back. See it right here, so. Four x squared over x squared. We cancel out the x squared, so we just have four left. Four x over x squared, the x cancel out the one here, so I'm gonna have four over x, see it right here, so. And the one over x can't go no further, so I'm gonna have that. And guess what the statement is now? As this, and this, and this, and this tends to zero, the function moves zero over four. See just so? Zero over four, which tends to zero. So my horizontal asymptote is going to be equal to zero. My horizontal asymptote is going to be equal to zero. Trust me. So this piece is what we talk about, the vertical asymptote is what we did for the point of discontinuity. This piece here is when we're in limits and we're calculating the limit as x tends to infinity. So you see how we learn these things um, disjointly, meaning separate, but no, them come together to give you one final thing. And the last digger digger thing that I'm going to do in class tonight is to show you what the graph looks like. Is to show you what the graph looks like. New share, let me just, um, Lord have mercy. All right, I just want to show what the graph looks like. Give me half a second, please. Let me just go to Desmos, D E S M O S. Oh, Lord, I shouldn't be doing this anymore. Okay, it came up. I can't surprise my computer that is because it does not do well with surprises at all. All right, so the function is, function is x minus one over two x plus one all squared. x minus one 
over 2x plus 1 squares. x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 all squares. All right? No. Look at how the graph look. Oh no, this stuff is very out of order. Doing things that we don't expect it to do. No, look at what is happening here. You remember to that my 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 horizontal, sorry, new shear. My horizontal asymptote, my horizontal asymptote is at x equals zero. My horizontal asymptote, not x equals zero. Y equals zero. My horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero. Let me go back to this shear now and show you what I'm talking about. See it here, so it go. This red line does not touch. Remember when we were doing the graphs and I, and I told you, I showed you some stuff before. It looks like it is touching the X axis. Not touching. Touching. It not touch it. It's kissing it. It's kissing it, but it not touch. It crosses here at one. It crosses the axis, you know. But when it crosses the axis, it goes very close to to, to, to zero, to the, to the x-axis, very close to the x-axis, but guess what? It not touch it. It really isn't touching it. It's the same thing on the other side. The other side didn't cross it, but guess what? It got close, it got close, it got close. I'm trying to make a fight. It got close to it, it got close to it, it got close to it, but if I tear it out, I mean, if I try to get it bigger, it's going to show you that, you see it? Can anybody see it? Yes, it don't sir. touch it. Yes, right? sir. It gets very close. Let me go back to my default zoom. It gets very close. Now, what we just calculated, let me go back to it. What we just calculated here was a horizontal asymptote to show that this value here is going to be zero. Meaning say, the graph went to hover the x-axis, watch this one up here. So the vertical asymptote, vertical means so, straight up, eh? the vertical asymptote is gonna be x equals to negative a half. Let me show you how the vertical asymptote come in play now. See just so, let me just do something here. I need to find a half on the, on the graph, come a half. All right, so a half here, 0.5. This is my vertical asymptote. It means say, the graph here can cross this. And the graph here can cross this. And I'm going to give you a practical example of what this is. So this is my negative a half. Everybody see the negative a half right here, so? Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Watch it now. You see it tear out up here, so? And it wide up here, so? The piece are closer to the negative a half than, is, than this piece. But this piece, no matter say it's close, you know, that piece is gonna move up to it, but it can't touch it. Watch it. This is my negative a half line, you know. The line here is negative a half. Come on, it's supposed to show me. Anyhow, this line here is my negative a half. So watch a line in the middle. Watch a line in the middle. You see all oh, the piece, I catch up the piece here and look like a piece here. It now nah, touch it. It's gonna get closer to it, but it now nah, touch it. It can't cross it. Can't cross it. And I can go all the way down to, you name it, all the way down to that's 43, all the way down to 50, negative 57, negative 61. It, it, it gets very close to the negative and a half. But I promise you, let me go to 100, negative 100 and stop right there. See there? And if I go all the way down to Timbuktu, it gets very close to this negative and a half, but it does not cross it. So this is my vertical asymptote, right? So you may say, but sir, is the first, I'm hearing this term. What that mean, next time? <laughs> Talk to me. What that mean? There's an energy gene named power cell. <laughs> so you're saying to me, you no, know, my class is rough. So you need to go get some energizer. Well, possibly. All right, let me just go to that. All right. So that's what it is. That's all I need to show you. So you know what the vertical asymptote, you know how to calculate why the, when the graph looks so, you know to calculate the graph looks so. You know, let me just give you a practical example of what the asymptotes look like. Um, unfortunately, there was an accident at the wharf today. I really, I really hope that the guy didn't die. 
um, one of the big equipment collapsed and I think somebody, somebody saw, somebody was trapped on the inside. Um, I won't die like that because it's not a place that I want to work. It's a very dangerous place, right? And I'm going to tell you how dangerous it is, especially if you are on ground, underground, when they're transporting the, the containers from the ship to the port. Very dangerous. Um, so dangerous that you cannot get on plant without your reflector jacket, helmet, safety boots, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Very dangerous. You see them guys who drive them, them something there? Highly skilled. But do you know how those things are moved? They are moved with the assistance of magnets. They are powered. All right. So yes, they do have clips, you know. So when you look on top of a trailer, you know, you're gonna see several holes and especially at the four corners, when it's good open it, it clips into that thing to hold it, but it is also magnetized, all right? Magnetized. And um, this is like a magnet where these two poles are like poles and they are going to repel each other. So they can't get very close, you know, but there's going to be a, a space in between that, guess what? It no matter how strong it is, nothing can happen between them, right? So everything that we do in mathematics can be related to something that we do in real life. When you go to some scrap yards in the States, when you go to some scrap yards in the States, how do you think they move the, the old cars from one place to the next? Magnet. You see, there's something come up and just lick, lick on top of the car and the, the magnet come up and, you know, them turn it on and when them reach it, where the car will go, them just turn off the magnet and the car drop and them crush it and recycle it, so forth and so on. It's magnetized. And then something we're talking about, the whole concept of the graph getting very close to, but not touching, all right? I'm ending there, but these are some of the things that they may ask you to do to sketch a graph. Yes, I know I ran through this pretty quickly, I did this because this was easy for me to do now. Why easy, sir? Because we would have done this piece in calculus one. This is a point of discontinuity. You can't have a zero existing in the denominator. So you set the denominator equals to zero and solve. That is gonna be your vertical asymptote. When it is that you want to find your horizontal asymptote, you're gonna find the limit as it extends to infinity. Sir, why are you finding the limit as x tends to infinity? Let me show you. You notice this gone over positive infinity and a piece of gone over to negative infinity? Yeah. So if I found negative infinity or positive infinity, I would have got the same answer. But a piece of gone, no, 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 seven, eight, nine, all of me reach Timbuktu. All of me reach on this. This is infinity. That's where infinity is, right? So it means that. All of this infinity is like that. If I had calculated it at negative infinity, I would have still gotten my answer to be um, zero. All right? I know tonight was rough. I thank you for turning up. Um, you have to do what you need to do. You cannot allow one class to go without you understanding or catching up yeah. or else dog down with support. Get a power drink, do what you need to do, guys, um, and have a good one. See you on Tuesday, God's willing. Say a drink for Jesus. Sir. Yes, yes. Is it that your malice when we're not of class? Yeah, you sent messages in, in the thing? I don't see the message come up. Sir, everybody else sent the message but you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Calculus CAL. It's just Better one message. Oh, sorry. Mm, it's just one message, don't it? One message where everybody sit down and wait for you for answer, sir. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I will. Um, okay, you know, because of that, I will sit down right here. So, show that we use it and to find the next three approximately and take them as a first, and I use something like this, but I can't wait for you to answer another answer. Here's the answer first answer. part I want the answer to, you know, the, the part where them say they must show whatever. 
because me know if do that part, have a good teacher. Show that the equation that has a root between one and two. Oh. Yeah. Um, you have to go ahead now and solve that equation. All right, let me do the first part and send to you then. Yeah, you, you're sorry, correct. Sorry, that's your point. Equation that, no, all right, sir. All right, you sir. Might, you have to solve the equation in order to get that part. So I, I will solve the equation and show that the root is, is between one and two because I know you should be able to do the Newton Ramson there. Sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't, I, that one missed me. All right. Um, bless up, guys. Yes, I'll do that for you and then I'm setting it up. Matter of fact, I won't even type it. My finger hit and I'm tired. Let me just write it on paper and then WhatsApp it. Uh, All right, guys. Remember, remember, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check your message. Um, Rashim, cool. Um, Rash, do I have a number speak to the phone? Um, because you know. Okay, all right, no problem. We'll, we'll do rush. Yes. Um, come on, yeah, mess up, guys. First part of the class, yeah. Say, say it again. You want what? What about it? No, may I say, beg the the recordings as soon as possible, please. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm gonna get the correct and see if I can sit up tonight from Susie, and then um, oh Lord, I have a million and one messages coming in now. All right, um, things will be sorted out. Peace and salutation, guys. Go we'll get some rest and then get up and do some work here. All right, sir. Bless up. Bless up.